All right, everybody, we're in my garage. I've got a bunch of stickies here, and I pulled the instrument cluster out. Um, as the inside of this thing can get disgusting, which it is, you can see I got nasty stuff everywhere. So I'm gonna attempt to take this thing apart. I think this front piece just comes off with these clips. Then I can sand that down and that trim piece and redo that. But we'll see here. And then these, got the steering wheel piece, got the overhead console, got the climate control unit, um, part of the steering wheel, part of the overhead console, um, got the buttons there for that. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws, tiny little screws, one, two, three, four, and then there's five, six, seven, eight, and uh, this thing is about to separate. Um, I don't want to get any dust in there. It just lifts right off of here, like that. And there's our tack and everything. Interesting. You could change the face on that. It looks like it's two pieces. You could change these LCDs too. But this is the part that we're interested in because we're gonna sand it down and paint it. I guess I'm gonna have to mask this ring off. It doesn't look like it separates. Okay, I put that thing under a towel so it doesn't get dust in it and we're left with this piece. I know you could get this in carbon, but I don't see a way to remove this easily. It's like plastic welded in there. I'm gonna have to leave that and just get the sticky off of everything that I can and then we're gonna have to mask that off when we paint it. All right, I take it back. I got curious, so I started prying around a little bit and this ring does come off. You just gotta stick a, I used a plastic pry tool like this and stuck in there and just pried it a little. It's got a little gasket so that uh, stuff doesn't get in there. This is actual glass. Normally it's plastic, so good job Ferrari, but bad job on this sticky shit. They're so stupid. I just don't know, understand why they did this and knowing that it's a problem. It's like planned obsolescence of these cars. But anyways, we got that off so I don't have to worry about this anymore. Masking that and everything. I should get that in carbon. Maybe I'll do that. All right, everybody. I experimented with a ton of chemicals and I think I found the holy grail to get sticky stuff off. I tried brake cleaner, alcohol, xylene, paint thinner, all sorts of crap. And those are the strong solvents. But what I found is this stuff. I was thinking to myself, what kind of stuff might dissolve this? And I don't know why I thought of this stuff, but uh, I, you mix it with some warm water and uh, rub it on there and it literally turns it into liquid. So I did this, this is the bottom of the steering console. It was completely sticky, completely messed up. It went down to the plastic there, which is good. Um, it took like three minutes to clean that. No effort whatsoever. I just put it in the sink, filled the sink up with that stuff and some hot water and just rinsed it over it and rubbed it with my hand and it dissolves. So this stuff is awesome if you're trying to get the sticky stuff off. So I'm gonna do this piece now and see how long it takes. All right, I put some in there, just run in some hot water. Please don't tell my wife she's not home. So she has no idea that I'm doing this, but she probably wouldn't be happy. I'm just gonna fill it up a little more and then just you use your hand it's already coming off. I haven't even mixed the stuff up yet. See, it just turns into liquid and it rinses right off. It's crazy. So do this if you're trying to get the sticky stuff off. Okay, I got everything done. It's drying now. I had to take apart the climate control module. There's The buttons are really shiny, so I may get some like matte clear coat and put over that and see if that gives it that matte look. The little control panel here, it's shiny plastic underneath the sticky, so I didn't get it quite all the way off. And I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that one yet, because it's gonna be hard to mask off those buttons and stuff, so I'm not sure on that yet, but this other stuff came out pretty good. I just set it out here to dry. So some of you may know this, some of you may not, but when you clean the sticky off of this climate unit and the buttons, they get really shiny, which is not a good look. So what I did, I'm like, Instead of just repainting this, because it's going to be a pain in the butt because you got all the logos and stuff on there, let's get some matte clear coat. And so what I did is I got two different kinds. I got this one, and then I got this one, just to try them out. I took apart, uh, what, you know, the buttons or whatever, and just test tested it. And what I found is that this one looks pretty darn good. 
uh, and this one is the uh, engine paint so it should hold up pretty well you just want to make sure you prep it really well sorry there's an airplane flying over me so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot this in these climate control unit here with that clear very 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 light coats because I don't want it getting in the crevices and the cracks and everything and I'll probably do three or four very light coats and see how it comes out all right so I cleaned it really good and got the dust off so what you do is you just do that's it that's the first coat and you let it dry and then you do it again and again and again I did these already and they're already looking much better all right I did four coats I gotta say it really works it takes out all the shine and it looks really it looks almost factory you can kind of tell if you look close but man really works good so I'm gonna do this for all of the shiny stuff and all the buttons and everything again this is what I use this VHT flame proof it's for like high heat stuff so it should hold up pretty well on here all right, just did the first coat on the overhead console. We're using Trim Black, SEM Trim Black. You can buy this on Amazon. It's the best stuff that you can get. It matches the factory like matte black almost perfectly. So we're gonna do like three very, very light coats on that. I did the clear coat on the overhead console on the buttons. So that came out pretty good. A couple more coats and then I'll reassemble the overhead console. We're onto the uh, steering column now. That's the first coat. You want to do it super light. I can't stress that enough. Do it light or it's not going to come out right. All right, so we got the instrument cluster surround. Uh, this was a pain in the butt to clean, but I got it out, got it clean. Um, I'm going to use uh, prep spray on it just to get rid of some of the stuff. But this thing was disgusting. Get this cleaned up and put a few coats of paint on it. All right, all right. I am reassembling the climate control module. It came out looking freaking awesome. And I got this reassembled already. Look how good that looks now put that back together and go take this up to the shop and get these back in the car. Got the clamshell done for the steering wheel too. It came out pretty good. No complaints on that. All right, I got all the sticky stuff done. Everything turned out pretty good. Those vents, got the steering wheel, clamshell, got the two panels. So now I have to start reassembling, which it's gonna take a while, but I'm looking forward to getting this car back on the road. So I can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. By the way, um, redoing this, um, I think I mentioned it before, all of this comes off and you could redo these buttons individually. Also, when I did this, I took it completely apart. You can take it apart from the back. You can undo those two screws right there and the whole thing comes apart and you can actually take these buttons apart individually, which is what I did. So it's very tedious, but if you're a DIYer, no problem. Um, same with this thing. You have to undo those screws, pop it out of this thing. These buttons come out. It's kind of a pain, but again, not a huge deal. And the clamshell and everything's easy. Um, you do have the, I redid the uh, button here for the steering wheel adjustment. 